And now to the response section. And what you see here are what we refer to as the six pillars of crisis management. And I'll touch on a couple of these. Um, most organizations have already activated their global CMTs. If there are any of you who haven't, um, I'd urge you to do so now, even in regions that are less impacted. One of the major challenges that CMTs are facing is the global nature of this. Uh, and the fact that global organizations have got multiple local and regional CMTs activated in addition to a corporate headquarters crisis management team. And some corporate CMTs in Europe or North America have struggled to centralize command and control because their regional CMTs in Asia had been up and running and dealing with this weeks before them. And in some cases, it's provoked the question around what is the role of the centralized corporate crisis management team when there is so much regional variation. Um, but it is critically important um, for information sharing, um, best practice for the whole company, um, as the lead on centralized medical policy, HR issues, communications, and for providing a view of the whole company into the board. But it does require really strict, strict global coordination between the central CMT and the multiple regional hubs. Um, another of the unique challenges around this pandemic is that variations in national regulations have challenged the normal hierarchy of decision making. Companies typically have leadership and decision making structured around product lines and business units. But because the pandemic has very specific geographic, geographical implications, they're having to quickly reorder themselves and take a more flexible layered approach whereby national decisions supersede central policy. So as a general rule for sort of managing uh, this, you can say that the headquarters baseline applies unless the country or state instructions are stricter. And that way you, you also have a clear baseline for jurisdictions where there's no government mandate. Um, another important point on crisis management on Respond is uh, the resilience of your own crisis management team. Uh, in the event of CMT members getting sick, have you got enough resilience in terms of deputies for each function and CMT role to ensure you can cover for anyone who becomes infected? And, and critically, could you handle another crisis on top of this? Paul's going to be talking about cyber vulnerabilities. Um, most companies, CMT are, CMTs are at maximum capacity right now and would really struggle to deal with, for example, a ransomware attack on top of the coronavirus. So it's really worth looking at and trying to build the resilience of your CMT as much as possible. Thank you, everybody, for attending uh, this afternoon's call. Uh, if you need more information, feel free to reach out to us at info at Thanks again for attending.